We took you on our last ride today, baby. It seemed so strange coming home without you. I know you like what the preacher had to say. And I tried to pick music you've always enjoyed. I'm sure you noticed the forest was growing new life. And the birds must have known you were coming. They sounded just like you when you were outside whistling. When I heard them, I could feel your arms around me. Before I left the cemetery, I was reminded of something. I remembered that you always wanted us to ride in the limo. I actually looked over and saw you sitting there next to me. You looked just like our wedding picture on the mantel. The kids are riding home with your brother William. I know you would have wanted us to be alone. The moments we shared like this were always private. And I see no reason to do things differently now. There are a lot of people gathered at the house. Friends who wanted to feel close to you one last time. I see more than one teary eye staring back at me. Which just proves they know you to be the man I know. Going to bed tonight will probably be the hardest. It's been years since we've slept apart. The only comfort I can find in all of this is knowing that one day we'll be back together again. I know you spent last night downstairs in your casket. So it's not like this is our first night away from each other. I felt so close to you, but not sure if you saw me, although I was sleeping on the couch not far from you. The kids all say I should come live with them, but this is the home we built together. I don't think any of them understand this, but I know you'll be waiting for me at this house.